Okay, so this is Imogen Cotter is the road cyclist female Irish road champion. So this is someone just said, how they can you give me a video opinion on this? This is on cycling news. Uh, so Imogen said she was, this is unfortunate by the way, she was out, she got hit by a car, the car was overtaking a cyclist on the other side of the road and drove straight head on into me at high speed. Um, she is very, very lucky to be alive. Um, so she's in hospital, what she do, she's broken her radius and fractured patella, so she's going to be out for a long time. You know, this is a season done and dust. That's her bike. This is really like, you know, you know, even Natasha said she should get a lottery ticket because... You know, when I see pictures like this, it's generally no one survived in terms of cyclists. Um, so she is incredibly lucky. You know, she's hit her head there. Man, she is. She definitely should get a lottery ticket. All right. So now, what's the cause of this? Obviously, um, people are saying, you know, get well soon. That's great. And that's just that's default. We'll we'll wish, you know, if someone's in hospital, get well soon for sure. Um, let's click on the pages here. So, they look at the kit that she runs. Yeah, look how dark and camouflage this kit is. I mean, like, imagine you, you're a driver and you see a cyclist, like, oh, I've got to overtake. So, you overtake, but you don't see the cyclist coming down the hill because you're looking at the cyclist on your left or your right, depending on what country you're in. And then you see this, we don't see this black object, dark camouflaged object. I mean, if, if you want to join special ops or SWAT or, you know, Navy SEALs, this is the color kit they give you. Why? Because this is camouflage. This is hard to see. It's harder to see dark color objects. I feel that every cyclist out there, you know, should be, should be man. I mean, we've got this friggin' mandation of these experimental drugs we're giving people around the world. Why don't we mandate something that's actually going to be beneficial and make it easy and safe for everyone? Every runner, you know, every cyclist, every, you know, just has to be in some sort of high. Look, look how camouflage this is. Imagine if she just. You know, just stalked back down to the the bushes there, and you couldn't see her. You know, she was so camouflaged. So it's the same thing. Look at that. I mean, like if you got the sun in your eyes and you see this little, like it's just so hard, so much harder to see. Even this top's very camouflaged. It's like my question is, this one's a bit more visible, the green. But you want to have you want to rock something neon, okay? If you want to run dark kit, at least run a neon helmet, man. All right, neon gloves, like something you could be seen from, you know, three sixty. Otherwise. Don't be surprised if, unfortunately, you end up in hospital. I mean, look at look at the look at the dark kid, man. You know, how hard are we trying to make it? How how easy are we we trying to make it for someone to hit us, man? No gloves as well. She's wearing no, she's a no glove girl, likes it raw, you know. And uh, just I don't like wearing gloves, but I prefer wearing gloves than beef jerky hands on the tarmac. You know, I've had my crashes, and even if I ride the supermarkets I'm wearing gloves, right? the worst, some of the worst crashes I've ever had were just going to supermarkets. That's just how it is. So yeah, just dark kit, man. Just dark kit. Like it's just, you know, especially this time of year where the the lights dark and stuff. So what, what do you? What's the goal there? This is a bit more visible, but even still, it's pretty camo, man. It's pretty camo. Like when I've ridden with Movie Star Riders uh, here in Adelaide, there it's pretty hard to see. So she likes this dark kit stuff. It's just it's a trend that's got to go. Look at you know, it's a trend that's got to go. Why are we making ourselves more camouflage? You know, this could be career ending. This could be career ending. She's going to be stressed now because she can't train and her diet, you know, she looks like she likes the chocolate, which is full of fat. So, you know, how much fat do you gain in hospital eating chocolate, which is full of fat? Uh, my tip, if you're in a hospital and you want to maintain a slim physique, do my protocols, do my diet protocols, and you won't you won't have the rebound. But if you're loading up on the fats while you're in a hospital bed, you know, the fat sheets the fat you wear. So, yeah, we wish Imogen well. Uh, but yeah, she's very, very lucky. You know, so, so lucky, man. Like, this is insanely lucky. Insanely lucky that, that she is out there. So the story again. You know, she's so lucky, man, that, you know, her face, will she have permanent scarring? You know, all this, all this, because she chose to wear camouflage kit, all right? Obviously, the driver didn't see her, wasn't paying full attention. Yeah, we can't just blame others. We've also got to like, hey, what what percent of the accident involved my choices? Okay, look at the look at the hands. Look at that. So she, oh my gosh, she's munched her hands. I mean, that finger is hard to protect, but the palms. Look at that. Let's go back there. So her, that's a lot of flesh off the palms. You know what I mean? Just because she's like, I don't want to wear gloves. I'm a I'm a fashion girl. 
I'm a fashion boy. All these people out there not wearing gloves, and this is what happens to your hands and, and the face, you know. So really unfortunate. Damn, that's, uh, you know, in the plaster. So, yeah, unfortunate. But look at that hand, man. Chunked out. Chunked out the palm. That's the worst part. Because then you can't wipe your ass properly. It's just, it just sucks. Mrs. Palmer's important. So, yeah, the face. I don't think it was scarred too bad, you know. But, um, yep, so you've got the chocolate there. So, the fat. That's the worst thing to eat when you're laying around is fat. All right. You, ca- you want sugar? Do my product, do my nutrition protocols and my ebooks at Duranide.com. If you want the lean, like you want a lean body like Natasha or my girlfriends have, do my protocols. Don't look back. You'd be good to go. Um, but yeah, unfortunate. And uh, and unfortunately, this might scare some people off cycling. All right? Don't be scared of cycling. One pad. Just cut out there. Don't be scared of cycling. Be scared of wearing camouflage camouflage on the road all right? as a runner or a cyclist. And I, and I also bet. You know, I'm going to say the stuff that no one else is saying publicly, okay? I see this all the time. Like, I was, you know, I trained with pro riders, world tour riders, female and male. And some of the risks the new sort of world tour riders or new pro riders or new amateur races, Div 1 crew or Div 2, even Div 3, that the risks they take on the downhills. And I'm like, if a car's going to be coming around the, that corner, man, see you later. If they're on the other side of the road, see you later. You're gone. Where a kangaroo jumps out, the risks they take, you know, uh, and I understand you got to take risks to be a good racer. You have to be cycling, bicycle racing isn't healthy. Like you have to be willing to go to hospital. You have to be willing to die for the win. You just have to, and so you need to develop those skills in the downhills. You need to take risks. You need to be willing to snap your bones up. Now, again, so if you're an, if you're a recreational cyclist like me, you know, I still am a competitive cyclist, but I don't do you know the formal races. I do more street racing where it's a lot lot safer. Because you don't have to take the risks in the downhills, etc. Um, you know, I prefer street racing, just personally. We can do Zwift if you want, but I prefer being outdoors. You don't have to take the risks in the downhills, man. You know, and if you do, just be willing to be in hospital, okay? Just underst- understand that's the go. But don't, if you're a noob cyclist out there, don't think that cycling is not safe, all right? These people are taking mad risks on the downhills. I bet she was pinning it, full race lining it, just practicing drills, which is okay to do, but you're on a public road. You know, you're in a public road with cars and wild animals. So, you know, if risks happen, things, if things happen, understand there's, there's a factor there. Plus, uh, this rider, like many riders today, unfortunately, no gloves. <laughs> just no gloves. It's, just, it's like jumping out of a car with no, with no gloves at 60k an hour. You know, that's what happens when you crash your bike at 60. Um, or even 20 or 30. And they're just wearing this camouflage kit. You know? Now, she was docked up in neon kit. Well, like, damn, that driver really, really wasn't paying attention, okay? People get distracted. Like, we live in a world of these things. Mobile phones are the literally, literally the biggest distraction in the world ever, human history. Mobile phones. I make so much money from people being on their mobile phones as a digital credit, all right? Mobile phones, man. And people on their mobile phones in their car, okay? So if they're looking up every few seconds just to check the road for other cars or cyclists, and if you're wearing this camo kit... My mum always used to say it to me, hey, no one can see you. I'm like, yes, mum, yes, mum. But eventually, as I got older and emotionally mature, I was like, damn, mum was right. Mum's was right. <laughs> right. So I started rocking more, yes, mum, you are right, uh, with, when it comes to this. And uh, started rocking more neon kit, you know, and now I'm like the freaking glowworm out there. And people, you know, all my girlfriends, you know, Natasha, you see her running that pink kit, and she can see it from a mile away, all right? You see it from a mile away. So it's just, it's just yeah, please, people out there, just, you know, be easy to easier to see. Be easy to see. Right? You, you when you wear a dark kit, you're creating visual resistance. You're creating visual resistance for people to see you. Is that what you want? Is that the level of safety you want to have and fear when you're out there? I run a little mirror on my bike, a cat eye BM forty five. Or you got a mirror on your bike. Everyone who says that, I can absolutely smash on the bike. Right? I can absolutely smash on the bike. You know. <laughs> so I'm running this little mirror. And uh, I can see who's coming up behind me. And I love it for racing, you know, for street racing. It's the perfect thing. You can see what's coming up behind you. And sometimes cyclists catch me unawares because they're so camouflaged. I'm like, damn, I didn't see that. I didn't see that rider coming up behind me, you know. But when they've got a bit of visibility on them, I see them from ages away. I see them from ages away. So, yeah, the dark kit is just it's really, really much harder to see. Um, so I recommend a mirror on your bike, a cat eye BM45, like, Man, so good, especially riding two abreast, and you're talking, 
you know, it's just great to, to know it's come behind you. It, feels just, it just makes it gives me for an increased sense of safety, you know, a real sense of safety. And uh, tactically, as a racer, street racer, you, you can't beat it. You can't absolutely can't beat it. It's safe as well. So looking over your shoulder, causing a crash, hitting the wheel in front, you know, you look, just look down like that, your mirror, just like that. You move your eyes, you know, versus like turn your shoulder, hit the wheel in front like a noob. In the world tour, they still do it. In the world tour, riders are still crashing into each other because they're looking over the shoulder. Like, get a mirror on there, man. UCI, you know, get your get your act together. Put mirrors as a prerequisite. Just for safety, man. For safety. And all these fashionistas out there. I wouldn't use a mirror. I don't wear gloves. I don't wear bright colored kit because I like to self-harm. I'm a self-harmer. If you're wearing dark kit out there, you're a self-harmer. You don't run a mirror, you're a self-harmer. You're just a fashion victim, all right? And you end up in hospital at Imogen. Bust it up. This could be the end of her career. What what pro, what pro team wants a, an injured person? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, she's injured. How good is she? I don't know. Or how good is he or she? Even Egan Banal. Egan Banal, man. If he just had a mirror on his bike, wouldn't have to look over his shoulder. You know what I mean? This is like, Egan Banal is finished, man. Finished, okay? He'll never come back to that level, unfortunately. I mean, we, should, we hope he would. I'm just saying, man. Like, you, 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 you only have one body, man. You only have one body. Don't give up so much of your human function just because you're a freaking fashion victim, man. I won't want a mirror on my bike. I don't wear gloves. I don't wear colourful kit that's visible. I'm a freaking fashion victim. You'll be a fashion victim enjoying hospital food. Hopefully. At, 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 you know, at, at worst. At best, sorry. At worst, you know, we'll be doing a RIP. Uh, 